Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Canadian Maple Leaf Cup Cozy, which is this cup cozy that you see here. Now this cozy is designed to fit my ceramic mug, um, my ceramic travel mug. It's made out of a 100% worsted wig cotton, so I'd recommend just digging into your stash. You won't need very much um, of either color. I recommend uh, about 200 yards um, just to make sure that you do have enough and you're going to need two colors uh, in this pattern I've chosen to use the Canadian uh, themed red and white but of course you may choose to um, vary those colors and choose your favorites so this is the co cup cozy right here it is made using a front post single crochet stitch which gives it this great texture and makes it a little bit thicker as far as cup cozies go you're also going to need a five millimeter crochet hook and a copy of the free crochet pattern, which can be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. And that direct link can be found in the notes for this video. Thank you so much for joining me for this uh, free tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. Grab your hook and some yarn and let's crochet together. Now when you come to this pattern you are going to see that there is a lot of changing colors. I'll go over a couple of uh, techniques uh, or methods of doing that uh, with you once we get started in this pattern. For that I have created a very simple graph here to show you uh, where the color changes are as far as this maple leaf is concerned. In your graph, uh, you, which you will find on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com, in the graph you will find that each individual block equals one front post single crochet stitch. Okay, so we're going to work through this together and again refer to the graph if um, if you need to. So to begin we are going to start by taking our color A. I mentioned you're going to need two colors so I'm going to use the white as my color A and this red as my color B which will make my maple leaf. So you're going to start by taking your color A and you're going to make a foundation chain of 35 chains. There's 10, 15, 25, 30, and there's 35 chains. Now, if you would like to change the size of your cup cozy, I would recommend either increasing or decreasing your starting chain by two. I like to have an odd number of starting uh, of chains in my foundation chain for my cup cozy, uh, which means I will have a definite uh, middle stitch for the design to make sure that it's center. So you're going to start with a starting chain of 35 and then without twisting your chain, so what I do is I just run my fingers down, make sure all the chain stitches are straight. You're going to join with a slip stitch in that first chain. This pattern is worked in a round. So just join with a slip stitch. Then you're going to chain one and for round one, you are simply going to start by single crocheting in that first chain and then in each chain all the way around. When you come back to your first stitch, you're going to join in that first stitch with a slip stitch. So work one single crochet stitch in each chain all the way around. So 
So once you come back around to that first stitch, again make sure your first round has not twisted and you're going to join with a slip stitch in the top of that first stitch. For round two, I'm going to make sure that my stitches are facing right side out. So I want to see the front of my work. For round two, we're not going to turn our work at all in this pattern. I'm going to chain one and I'm now going to work a front post single crochet stitch around uh, in each stitch all the way around. To work my front post single crochet stitch, I'm going to go move, bring my hook to the front of my work and I'm going to work my stitch around the post of the single crochet stitch below. So I'm going to bring my hook to the front on the right side, if you're right-handed, of my the post of the single that first single crochet stitch. I'm going to insert my hook. I'm going to bring it through across the back, and I'm going to bring it around the post and out through the front of my work again. I'm then going to yarn over and work a single crochet stitch. So pull through yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. That's your front post single crochet stitch. I'm going to do that all the way around. So once again around the post of the next single crochet stitch insert your hook from right through to the back, around the back, out through the left of the post, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and complete your single crochet stitch. I'm going to do that all the way around and we're continuing at this point to work with our color A. So front post, single crochet, all the way around you'll have a total of 35 stitches. When you come back to that first stitch you're going to join with a slip stitch in the top of that stitch. Now for round three, we are going to start bringing in our color B here. So what we are going to do first is we are going to chain one and with our color A, we're going to front post single crochet in the next 17 stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then 16. Now we have to work in the next 17 stitches, but because at the end of the 17 stitches, I want to switch to my color B. When I come to that 17th stitch, I'm not going to complete it with my color A. So in that 17th stitch, because I want to switch my color B, I'm going to insert my hook around the post of the next stitch. I'm going to yarn over with my color A and I'm going to drop my loop. But then I want to bring in my color B. The next instruction is with color B, you're going to front post single crochet in the next stitch and then switch back to color A. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my color A with two loops remaining on my hook and I'm going to bring it to the back of my work. I always want to bring that yarn that I'm dropping to the back so that my ends and tails always go to the back of my work. I'm then going to pick up my color B, I'm going to place it on my hook, and I'm going to draw up a loop completing that single crochet stitch. And then I'm going to just pull my little tails a little tighter there on the back. I'm now going to work a front post single crochet stitch with my color B 
I only need one of them and then I'm going to switch back to my color A. So what I'm going to do is with my color B I'm going to insert my hook around the post of the next stitch. I'm going to yarn over but again I'm not going to complete the stitch because I want to switch back to my color um, A. So I'm going to put, bring the yarn to the back of my work. I'm going to pick up my color A again which I had just dropped. I'm going to place it on my hook and I'm going to complete the single crochet stitch. So now I have worked one front post single crochet stitch in color B and I'm ready to continue on with my color A. Next I am to cut with color A front post single crochet in each of the next 17 stitches. So continue uh, work your front post single crochet stitches around the post of each stitch all the way to the end of the round. At the end of the round you're going to join with a slip stitch in that first stitch. Now round four you're going to chain one and round four is essentially a repeat of round three. You're going to front post single crochet around each of the next 17 stitches, switch to your color B, front post single crochet around the next stitch and switch back to your color A, then front post single crochet around each stitch uh, to the end of the round where you will join with a slip stitch in that first stitch. For round five, you're going to chain one and you are now going to front post a single crochet in each of the next 12 stitches. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, and then in that twelfth stitch I'm going to want to switch to my color B, so I insert my hook around the post and drop a loop. Now there are a couple of things that you can do with your color changes. If you would like, at the end of each round, you can cut off uh, your color B and then at the end of your work, weave in your ends if you would like. Or you can carry that non-working yarn back behind your work and then work over top of it to kind of hide that end. It's up to you uh, what you prefer. Uh, what I typically do is I uh, I don't like to weave in my ends so I like to leave it attached, draw it behind and uh, work over top of it. Now if you are going to do it that way you just have to remember not to pull that end too tight. You don't want your work to buckle so you want to lay it just nice loose and flat across the back of your work so that you can work over top of it okay so for that 12th stitch I'm going to be switching to my color B I'm going to lay it on my hook complete that stitch for my 12th stitch I'm going to bring my color A once again in back and I'm going to still also work over top of it because uh, some of these rows have quite a few color changes in it such as this row uh, round that we're going to do right now Okay, so I've pulled it back. I'm now working with my color B. I'm going to, with my color B, front post single crochet in the next stitch and then switch back to my color A. So insert your hook around the post of the next stitch, draw up a loop. I'm going to drop my color B again and I'm going to pick up my color A. I'm going to complete the stitch. With your color A, you're going to front post single crochet around the next stitch and switch to color B. Pull my color A back, pick up my color B 
and complete the stitch. I'm now going to, with my color B, front post a single crochet around the next two stitches. So there's one, and then I'm going to switch back to my color A. So there's two, pull my color B to the back, and draw my color A. With color A, front post single crochet in the next stitch, and switch back to your color B. You will be a very good at changing colors by the time you are finished with this pattern. Bring up my color B, place one front post single crochet in the next stitch, and switch back to my color A. Front post single crochet in the next stitch, switching back to my color B. With color B, front post single crochet in the next two stitches. There's one, and I'm going to switch back to my color A with the second. With color A, front post single crochet in the next stitch, switching to color B. And with color B, place, work one more front post single crochet stitch, switching back to your color A. So that's what it's going to look like. You're now going to, with your color A, front post single crochet around each of the final 12 front post single crochet stitches. So all the way to the end, when you come back to your first stitch, you're going to join with a slip stitch in the top of that stitch. For round six, you're going to chain one. You are then going to work one front post single crochet stitch around each of the next 13 stitches and then switch over to your color B. your 13th stitch. Complete the stitch with your color B. And you are then going to, with your color B, front post single crochet in each of the next nine stitches. On that ninth stitch, you're going to switch back to your color A. And you're going to work a front post single crochet stitch with your color A in each of the final 13 stitches. So all the way back around to the beginning, when you come back to your first stitch, you're going to join with a slip stitch in the top of that first stitch. For round seven, you're going to front post single crochet around each um, of the next 
14 stitches. On your 14th stitch, you're going to switch over to your color B. Then with your color B, you are going to front post single crochet in each of the next seven stitches. In that seventh stitch, you're going to switch back to your color A. And you're going to front post single crochet around each of the final 14 stitches. When you come back to that first stitch, you're going to join with a slip stitch in that first stitch in the top. For round eight, you're going to chain one and you're going to front post single crochet with your color A in each of the next 13 stitches and then switch to your color B. In that 13th switch stitch, switch to your color B. And then with your color B, you are going to front post single crochet in each of the next nine stitches. In that ninth stitch, you're going to switch back to your color A. And you're going to front post single crochet in each of the final 13 stitches. When you come back to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. For round nine, we're going to start by chaining one and we're now going to work a slight increase in the number of stitches in this round. So what we're going to do is after our chain one, we're going to work two front post single crochet stitches around that first stitch. So with your color A, work one front post single crochet around that first stitch and then around the same stitch, work one more front post single crochet stitch. So there's two. You're then going to work a front post single crochet stitch around each of the next 11 stitches.
on that 11th stitch you're going to switch over to your color B and you are going to with your color B front post single crochet around each of the next 11 stitches around that in that 11th stitch you're going to switch back to your color A and then with your color A you're going to work one front post single crochet stitch around each of the next 11 stitches And then in that final stitch, you are going to work two front post uh, single crochet stitches in that final stitch. So there's one, and then around the same stitch, work one more. So at the end of this round, you are going to have a total of 37 stitches. You're going to join with a slip stitch in that first stitch. Now for round 10, you're going to chain one and you're going to front post single crochet in each of the next 13 stitches with your color A. So there's one, two, in that 13th stitch you're going to switch to your color B and you're going to front post single crochet around each of the next 11 stitches in that 11th stitch switch back to your color A and then with your color A you're going to front post single crochet around each of the final stitches to the end of your round when you've reached your first front post single crochet you're going to join with a slip stitch in that first stitch. For round 12 you're going to start by chaining one and you're going to front post single crochet around each of the next 12 stitches this is with your color A. On that 12th stitch you're going to switch to your color B And you're then going to front post single crochet with your color B in each of the next 13 stitches.
in that 13th stitch you will switch back to your color A and you're going to front post single crochet in each of the final 12 stitches when you come back to your first stitch you will join with a slip stitch in the top For round 12, you're going to chain one and you're going to, with your color A front post, a single crochet in each of the next 11 stitches. In that 11th stitch, you're going to switch to your color B. And with your color B, you're going to front post single crochet in each of the next four stitches. In that fourth stitch, switch back to your color A. With your color A, you're going to front post single crochet in the next stitch. So in that next stitch with your color A, you'll, you will switch back to your color B. With your color B, you're going to front post single crochet in each of the next five stitches. In that fifth stitch, you will switch back to your color A and front post single crochet in the next stitch and switch back to your color B. With your color B, you are going to front post single crochet in each of the next four stitches. And in that fourth stitch, be sure to switch back to your color A. And then with your color A, you're going to complete that round by front post single crocheting in each of the final 11 stitches. When you reach your first stitch, once again, you're going to join with a slip stitch in the top. For round 13, you're going to chain one. You're going to front post a single crochet in each of the next 12 stitches. In that 12th stitch, you're going to switch to your color B. With your color B, you're going to work one front post single crochet around the next stitch and switch back to your color A. With your color A, you're going to work three front post single crochet stitches. On that third stitch, switch back to your color B. You're then going to front post single crochet around the, each of the next uh, five stitches. In that fifth stitch, switch back to your color A. work three front post single crochet stitches. In 
In that third stitch, switch back to your color B. Work one front post single crochet in the next stitch and switch back to your color A. And then with your color A, you're going to work uh, one front post single crochet stitch in each of the last 12 stitches. When you come back to that first stitch, join with a slip stitch in the top. For round 14, you're going to chain one and you're going to front post single crochet around each of the next 17 stitches. In that 17th stitch, you're going to switch over to your color B and you are going to work three front post single crochet stitches with your color B. In that third stitch, switch back to your color A and you are then going to work one front post single crochet stitch around the final 17 stitches. When you come back to that first stitch, you will join with a slip stitch in the top. For round 15, you're going to chain one and you're going to front post single crochet around each of the first 16 stitches. In that 16th stitch, you're going to switch over to your color B. You're going to work one front post single crochet around the next stitch with your color B and switch back to your color A. With your color A, you're going to work one front post single crochet stitch around the next stitch and switch back to your color B color B, work one front post single crochet stitch around the next stitch and switch back to your color A. With your color A, work one front post single crochet around the next stitch and switch to your color B. Work one final front post single crochet around the next stitch with your color B and then switch back to your color A. Now with your color A, you're going to work one front up uh, work a front post single crochet stitch around each of the next 16 stitches all the way around to the end when you come back to your first stitch you will join with a slip stitch in the top For round 16, you're going to chain one and you're going to work a front post single crochet stitch around each of the first 18 stitches. One front post single crochet stitch around each of the first 18 stitches.
when you come to that 18th stitch you're going to switch to your color B you're going to work one front post single crochet around the next stitch and switch back to your color A and at this time if you haven't already you can fasten off your color B and you're going to work uh, with your color A one front post single crochet stitch around uh, in the next 18 stitches when you come back to your first stitch you're going to join with a slip stitch For around 17 you're going to chain one and with your color A you are going to work one front post single crochet stitch around each stitch all the way around so for a total of 37 stitches front post single crochet in your color A when you come back to that first stitch join with a slip stitch At the end of round 17 you're going to join in that first stitch with a slip stitch and you're going to fasten off your color A and if you haven't done so already you're going to weave in your ends and there you have it your Canadian Maple Leaf Cup Cozy. Thank you so much for joining me today on this uh, video tutorial on how to crochet the Canadian Maple Leaf Cup Cozy. Don't forget to subscribe and until next time, happy crocheting and happy Canada Day. Bye.